Hello you beautiful peeps, my name is John, welcome to my channel. Today we have the Ishin EAT-14. And very much like the same as the last video I did concerning the Double Toys 124017, I'm going to try and put a 3S battery into it. I do not know if it's going to blow up or not. I'm hoping not because it seems like it's the same electronics, but we're not really going to know until we get out and try it. I want to see if we can get close to this 70-75 kph or not. So I think it's best to get outside and see what it can do. See you soon. Okay, ladies and gents, you saw our video with the W Toys 124017 that was able to run the 3S battery. This is now the Ishin EAT14, and as you can see, we have a slight issue. Whoops. The battery does not fit. So I've got it in there, I've shooned and horned it in the best that I can, and we're really just gonna have to see what it can do, aren't we? GPS is on the back. Let's give it a go. Oh, first thing we need to see if it's gonna blow up, obviously. Let me move my phone out of the way, just in case. What do you reckon, blow up or not, Colin? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Not blow up, okay, let's get on. Okay, what have we got ladies and gents? It's really hard to control this one. 68. It can go so much faster if I could keep the darn thing in a straight line. Let's try up and down the hill. Probably be better if we had aerodynamics as well, wouldn't it? I forgot to turn, I hope you got it. <laughs> Be falling, Colin gets to hear that wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shall we see ladies and gents? I seem to have broke something. All it's done is it just popped that off, so there's nothing damaged. What have we got? Stop. That looked faster to me. What do you think, Colin? Yeah. 77! Is that not faster than the other one? Dear God! And most importantly, it's running with the 3S. I'm going to just uh, run this battery down just to make sure that nothing blows up. But from what we can see so far, well, it's looking good, isn't it? What do you think? Faster than 77? 81! Oh my god! And when you consider that that doesn't have the shell on either. Fabulous! Okay, now we just uh, race it until we blow it up. You okay? Don't worry about the car, are you okay? Yeah. Good. Boo boo! You okay? Is your leg sore? 
welcome back to the Balloon Mat. So, you have seen the footage of the Isheen EAT-14 with the 3S battery. What do you think? Are you shocked as I am that it got up to that speed? It actually beat the WL Toys 124017. I can't believe that. And when you consider that the tyres are these bobbly type and these cars aren't really known for keeping straight in a straight line when you try. Um, I'm, I'm really, really surprised. I say these cars because it does look exactly like a 144001. It's made by WL Toys, so... But it is the Isheen EAT14. Now, the last part of the video you saw that Colin decided to try and rip his foot off. And he's caused him a little bit of damage. This is how we got the car back, as you can tell. Um, Firstly, you'll see that there's a slight, uh, <laughs> let's say slight, look at this drive shaft. He has had, obviously this, I mean this was recorded yesterday and I checked today, there is no bruise. Look at that drive shaft. Have you ever seen that? Well, yeah, you probably have. I have as well, but not when it's hit your child's leg. Hopefully, at least. Um, so it's obviously done that damage, but there's been no other significant damage other than... Dun, dun, dun. This has been... Oops, let me just put it upside down. This has been bent a little bit. You'll see it better if I do it that way. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry, 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 sorry. You see that the undamaged one is straight, and the damaged one is, well, not very straight. So it, it obviously hit him with quite an impact. He said the reason why he put his foot out to stop the car was because he thought it was going to hit our car that was parked behind. He forgot that those big barriers were there. Which is really kind of him, but as what you heard me say on the video, unless I've edited it out, I don't really care about the car. How are you, Colin? He's more concerned about the car, of course, and our real car. Bless his little cotton socks. So... If you own one of this, these cars, or you've ordered one, and you've been a little bit sort of downtrodden by the, the reviews, mine included, please do not be. I've now run both of these cars that have the same electronics, exactly the same, look, I'm not lying, and two full batteries on each, and neither one of them has blown up. So that's a really good sign, but I will say the caveat, please, please, use the 3S battery at your own risk. Please don't hold me responsible. I'm showing you what's possible, but it may not be the case for your cars. Um, at least check out how much a replacement ESC is if you're going to go down this route. Uh, do I recommend going down this route rather than just buying a bog standard, I can't even say EAT14 brushed because there isn't one, so a 144001 and then put brushed into it. Well, there's a lot of people out there that don't want to start unscrewing everything in these motor mounts, and we all know how much of a headache that can be, let alone let's not talk about pinion, shall we, ladies and gents? They want to buy one that's brushed or uh, brushless already, which is why we had such high hopes for this one. But of course, now that it runs 3S, 76 or 75 between the two, 70, well, oh, I can't remember now. Seven, eight, seventy-nine. I mean, come on. That's really, really good for these cars, and that's with with no other adjustments. Put some, you know, proper tires on it, and I think you'll be going a little bit faster as well. So, for those that don't want to go through the hassle of buying the bog standard versions, one two four uh, oh one nine and the one four four double oh one, then go for the Isheen uh, EAT one four. Buy a three S battery. Sell your two S when you get it to recover some of that money. And you've got yourself a real little pocket rocket. I mean, other than this damage, but it, that's going to get damaged no matter what, isn't it? It's been running without issues at all. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't show you this on camera because I didn't know if it would be of any interest to anybody. But I've swapped this motor out. A 3650 motor. Uh, this is uh, actually, it wasn't the best. It's a 5200 kV. I've already swapped it out, it took me three hours to get all the screws off and everything, put it, uh, put it in, and the cogging was worse, the at the start was worse, uh, and the top speed didn't seem that impressive. Re with a high KV motor, you'd have thought that, you know, it would at least go fast, but it didn't seem to want to. Um, so, you could always swap it for a 3650, 
lower kV motor, but of course then you're getting lower top speed, and we don't want lower top speed, do we, ladies and gents? Let's be honest. So I think the 3S has saved both of these cars, in my opinion. Very much so. I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. I drove both of these yesterday with Colin, and I'm extremely happy. I am really, really impressed with them both now, and I can only assume that maybe in the future, Ishin and WR Toys may release these cars with, oh, I don't know, maybe 3S battery. What do you reckon? I hope so, at least, because they deserve it. They deserve to be let free. <laughs> their full potential. This is far too close to the brushed version. This is far too close to the brushed version of the 144001. In fact, this, they're both slower in, in my tests at least. Um, so the only way to increase the speed is with this. And I think that's a really, really easy and simple way to do that. Just be aware, please be aware of the fitting issue that I had with this one. Not on that one, loads of space. This one is quite quite difficult, but after Collins removed the ESE, as you can see, let me just get that out of the way, you can jimmy it. If you lift the, the top deck up a little bit, you can jimmy it underneath. Come on. Like so. So, I'm gonna, uh, that's a win. That's in, in my opinion. So, it will fit. Maybe take one of the brackets, uh, maybe the rear bracket off, just to give you a little bit of breathing room there. But I, I think it's, I, I like them. I like them both now very much. I, I honestly thought that both of these were going to end up on the shelf and not be moved at all. But now that the three S uh, has proved to be so effective, I will definitely be getting them out now. I've just noticed. Look on this ESC. Look at that. Oops. That snapped, I assume, during the impact. So I'm going to have to repair that as well. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you next time. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.